All right, let's go ahead and begin. Welcome to Government 2305, Federal Government. My name is Lee Rathbun. I'll be your instructor for this semester. Uh, this is my first online class that I've ever taught, so I'm still learning how to record myself, uh, record my lectures, and so forth. So you'll have to forgive me if it looks like I'm looking down the entire time. It's because the PowerPoint slides are down on the screen and the webcam's up at the top of the screen. Uh, so it looks kind of odd. Um, you'll have to forgive me for that. But uh, looking forward to a good semester, and hopefully we can learn something together. Uh, just go ahead and introduce myself real quick. Like I said, my name is Lee Rafton. I come from Ellsworth, Kansas. Uh, I lived in Ellsworth, Kansas. I grew up there my whole entire life. It's a small little town, middle of nowhere, Kansas. It's about 3,000 people, uh, so very, very tiny. Uh, my graduating class was only like 56 people. Uh, I'm only 24 years old, so I'm pretty young for a college teacher, so probably be the youngest college teacher you'll have while you're here. I got my bachelor's from Kansas State University, which is in Manhattan, Kansas. I got my master's from University of North Texas in Denton, Texas. Uh, various interests that I have, just so you guys can get to know me just a little bit, I like political, uh, international political economy, so I study economics elsewhere in the world and how, that, uh, how the political systems influence the economy in other nations. So when, you, when we talk about uh, foreign policy later on this semester, when we talk about presidential policy and things like that, that'll, I'll definitely try to uh, relate that to my interest in international political economy. Uh, some other interests that I have, I like music a lot. I am actually a wedding DJ. I DJ weddings on the weekends, so when I'm not here during the week teaching, uh, that's what I'm doing out on my weekends usually is uh, DJing special events and weddings and things like that. Uh, other interests are just baseball. If you guys want to start a discussion board online about baseball or sports or anything like that, I definitely welcome that. No problem at all. Um, and then teaching, obviously. This is, uh, I'm only 24 years old, so this is only my second semester having my own class. This is my first online class. And so definitely teaching has been quite the experience for me. And I uh, look forward to a good semester with all of you. So this is just the introduction uh, right now. Later on, I'm going to go ahead and record our week one lecture. So be sure to watch both of these videos this week. And uh, be sure to familiarize yourself with the course. So we'll go ahead, uh, we'll look at the syllabus right now. Um, the syllabus is found on ANGEL. Uh, actually, I suppose I should show you guys ANGEL uh, first off, uh, since that will be our main hub. So we'll go ahead and open Chrome here. We'll go to uh, the Galveston College website, which is gc.edu. I hope you all know that. Um, and if you want to access ANGEL, uh, it's e-learning. Go ahead and type in your username, password, and uh, you guys are the federal government course. I'm also teaching a Texas government course uh, this semester as well. So the federal government course is right here. Um, pretty much everything that you're gonna need out of this course is on the lessons tab. So right here we have the course syllabus and the course schedule. The syllabus kind of outlines the general rules and the schedule will tell you what we're gonna do each day. We're gonna go through both these today. So go ahead and start with the course syllabus. Here's the course syllabus. Uh, let me go ahead and minimize that just a little bit and expand it. All right, there we go. So your instructor, like I said, obviously is Lee Rathbun, uh, myself. Uh, here's my phone number, 785-531-1288. If you guys need to have any emergencies or need to get a hold of me, uh, please let me know. Um, obviously, this is, a, is an online course, so I embrace any form of technology. So if you guys just need to send me a quick test, text message about a question or anything like that, feel free to do that. Just don't blow up my phone um, a tremendous amount. Uh, my office, from which I'm recording this right now, um, is M314, uh, and I have my office hours. Uh, I'll be in this office uh, every Tuesday from 12 to 2. And then I'll be on Skype, uh, since this is an online class, I'll be on Skype uh, every Monday and Thursday. I'll just log into Skype and I'll be readily available um, from, on Skype from Monday, Monday through Thursday, 12 to 4. Um, you can read through the catalog description um, and you, this is the, the uh, required textbook. Uh, it is available in the bookstore um, down below my office, down on the main campus. Introduction to American Government. I will be requiring that you guys read every week. Um, however, it shouldn't be too tedious. And yes, there will be uh, test questions written straightly, strictly from the book. Uh, learning outcomes, you guys can check through those if you want to. Course requirements, um, just please, you know, 
log on every now and then. Please uh, follow the lectures. Please do your discussion boards, so forth. I don't really expect you guys to be too uh, out of control since it is an online course and uh, should be quite easy. So let's go ahead and talk about what you guys are going to be doing this semester, the evalu evaluation criteria. I've written my grading philosophy here, and my grading philosophy is very, very simple. It's just that grades represent a standard of, of achievement and understanding. I just want you guys to show that you understand the material, and I don't want you guys to just memorize it and regurgitate it to me on the test. Um, I need you guys to have just a basic knowledge of government, and Amer American government specifically, I suppose. Um, the purpose of, edu of an education is to be able to utilize the information I've given you in lecture and utilize it uh, to relate it to your own personal beliefs so, uh, or your personal values as well. So to this end, uh, the assignments and exams uh, will seek to balance these two, two objectives, to learn information and to understand it and relate it to something that you guys understand or, or believe in or value. So. Uh, you will be required to participate, or sorry, to this end, the assignments and exams seek to balance those two objectives. You will be required to participate in class discussion through the discussion boards. We'll go ahead and cover that later. Uh, participate in class discussion in order to demonstrate that you are able to relate this information to personal experiences or opinions. You know, the exams should demonstrate that you understand the information presented in lecture. And you will be completing a writing assignment uh, in order to show that you have a deeper understanding of the material related to your own opinions or views on the topic. So uh, I believe in learning information and then relating it to what, what you guys have learned. Um, so we'll go ahead, uh, we'll look at grading. You guys will have three uh, multiple choice exams. Uh, these multiple choice exams will comprise 50% uh, of your overall grade. So half your grade is just simple learning the information and rela relating, to, relating it to me on a test. Um, it, you have 16.6% for each exam. Each exam is worth 100 points. So you have exams. Three tests worth 50%, 16.6% 6, each test. Um, these are closed book exams, but obviously we're teaching online. Um, so if it's really a closed book, uh, I wouldn't know, so actually, um, should probably go ahead and change that. If you guys want to go ahead and use your book for the exam, feel free. Uh, there will be a time limit, though, so be sure not to completely thumb through the book looking for the answer, spending the entire time doing that. Uh, the exams are 100% multiple choice. It's only multiple choice with 50 questions, so 50 multiple choice questions. Um, and you'll have the ex entire exam week to complete the test. The exam week, I'll release the test on Monday, and then you have that entire week to take it, um, however, once you begin the exam, there will be a two-hour time limit. So be sure to be prepared for the, for the exam somewhat before you start. Um, and the exams are non-cumulative. So whatever we cover in Unit 1, that's the only thing that will be on Test 1. Whatever we cover in Unit 2, that's the only thing that will be on Test 2 and so forth. Um, it's because we focus on very specific topics in each, in each uh, unit, and so they're not really quite related to each other, even though they all fall under the umbrella of government. Uh, like I said, the exam is uh, drawn from approximately 75% class lecture and PowerPoint slides, and 25% from the reading uh, for that unit. So you have these three exams. Uh, you also have two analytical essays. I want you guys to write two essays. Um, these are approximately one-third of your grade, 16.6% uh, each paper. Each paper is worth 100 points. So two papers worth 33.3% 33 33 of your overall grade, 16.6% uh, each. So each student will complete two separate papers, each being at least five pages in length. Uh, students will be graded on originality, content, spelling, grammar, and application to the course material. So I want you guys to be original. I want you guys to think outside the box, uh, think about something that you really care about. Uh, and I also want you guys to follow the spelling and grammar and citation, uh, which is basic uh, university level writing. So uh, please use proper citation, either MLA or APSA style, uh, with in-text citations. Now, I will be going through uh, a writing lecture. I'll be posting a writing lecture later on in the semester. So if you're not quite familiar with MLA style or APSA style, or you're not sure how to use in-text citations, or you might not be sure uh, about your writing, your ability as a writer in general, I'll be posting a lecture later on uh, about how to write at the college level. So uh, that will hopefully help you. Help you. 
Um, your first paper isn't due for quite a while, I believe, so um, whenever I get that writing lecture done, I'll definitely go ahead and post it. Uh, the reason why I want you guys to write is because writing is a lifelong skill. Um, it'll assist you in your personal development, it'll assist you in your career development as a scholar and as a citizen. And no matter what you go, no matter where you go or what you do, you guys will be definitely writing in some sort of manner. So I want to make sure that you guys have at least a basic understanding of how to write and write clearly. Um, and then so therefore it is important to, uh, it's important that you take time to develop your essays and to demonstrate an understanding of the content and to improve your writing skills. So um, consult your course schedule for due dates and times uh, for when the, your first paper is due and then when your second paper is due. So the first topic that you guys will be writing about is right here. Um, go ahead for your first paper and pick one thing uh, about the U.S. Constitution, and this can include amendments, that you think should be changed. Uh, what modifications to the Constitution would you make? Would you propose an additional amendment uh, to the Constitution to correct this flaw? Um, explain your reasons for making this change. Also provide some background on the part of the Constitution you choose and why you believe it was included in the Constitution to begin with. So uh, just one example here. Uh, this may not make sense quite yet because we haven't covered the President. Um, but in the, in the Constitution it says that the President has to be at least um, 35 years old. So uh, let's, this is just hypothetical, but let's say I don't agree with that. And so my example would be that I believe that the required age for the president should be lowered because by the time many presidents, by the time many presidents are elected, they are out of touch. Um, they are out of touch with the general public by the time they reach office. They're too old. They represent a, a bygone era, and they don't aren't necessarily in tune with the younger generations and so forth. So um, that would just be one example. And that's just your first paper. You just talk about the U.S. Constitution, maybe something that you don't agree with on it. Um, I had a very interesting paper about Search and, Search and Caesar, the uh, Fourth, the Fourth Amendment, um, how he believed they thought that the Constitution should be changed so that no police can ever search uh, the pri a private residence or anything like that. Um, just trying to kind of spitball ideas. If you guys have an idea that you guys are thinking of uh, right now or later on, uh, go ahead and email me and I'll definitely uh, try to give you some ideas of how to develop that. So uh, that would just be your first paper. I do believe that's due uh, in March or the very first beginning of March. We'll go ahead and look at the course schedule later. Um, and then your second paper will be pick one policy debate that you believe is the defining issue of our modern times. So whatever you believe is the defining issue of your modern times, whether this be, um, let's say, marijuana legalization, um, same-sex marriage, um, do we need to revisit abortion debate, um, gun, gun rights, anything like that, anything that you believe is the defining issue of, of, of our modern times, of the current United States political landscape. Um, explain both sides of the debate, provide your opinion on the issue. Um, I really I don't, don't care exactly what your opinion is, I just care that you have an opinion and that you develop it well. Um, do you believe that this issue should receive more or less attention and what interest groups are involved regarding the issue and what can you do as a citizen to contribute to its debate or resolution? So this is a, this is a really fun paper, this will be your last paper of the semester um, and we'll definitely have explored each of these topics. And so hopefully you guys can form an opinion that you really care about and really care about this issue uh, when you write about it. So those will be your two analytical essays. Um, like I said, they're approximately one-third of your grade. Um, so we have 50% one-third. And then the third part of your grade will just be these weekly discussion boards worth 100 points total overall throughout the semester. Um, so we have to have these discussion boards because normally in class I'd have you guys discuss these topics, but unfortunately since we're teaching this online, um, we don't have the opportunity to necessarily engage in one-on-one -on -one conversation in class. So as a part of an online course, um, it is necessary to demonstrate that you have at least listened to the lecture and can address particular questions relating to the, mar the material. So each week I will post a discussion board on ANGEL um, under the specific week's folder. The questions will be contained within the lecture video. I'll usually try to have them at the end, so if you want to, if you want to go ahead and skip lecture um, and go ahead and just look at the weekly discussion boards, feel free. It might hurt you on the test just a little bit, um, but that's up to you. Um, it is the student's duty to find these questions um, and answer them on the discussion board. You are encouraged to respond to the other student's post while addressing the question yourself with a possible different view or opinion. 
uh, debate and discussion is encouraged. Uh, please be civil, though. Obviously, this is a political course, so I do expect some discussion, uh, some debate as well. But please be civil. Um, this grade is either a pass or a fail. If you participate and post something each week, you're going to go ahead and receive 100% for your portion of this grade. Uh, you, can miss, you can miss two weeks of discussion boards, uh, but missing more than two weeks of discussion board will result in a zero. I will also be participating in the discussion board to stimulate discussion, so I'll be in there act actively engaging you guys, maybe prompting you with a few questions. Um, participation in discussion boards beyond what is required will result, result in extra credit. So be sure to be active students. Be sure to respond uh, to your peers and really participate in what's being discussed that week. So that'll be the three parts of your grade. Uh, we'll have the multiple choice exams, we'll have the analytical essays, and then we'll have the discussion boards. Um, so going down, moving down the course evaluation, uh, just very simple, 90% or more is an A, 80, 80, 80 or above, 80 to 89% is a B, uh, C, 70 to 79, D, and then F. Um, to get an A, you need at least 600 to 540 points. For a B, you need 539 to 480. You can go ahead and just go on down the line here uh, for the exact points required for each grade. Um, extra credit, there will be plenty of extra credit assignments. And we'll go ahead and look at those when we look at the course schedule here in just a little bit. And these are designed to allow a student to demonstrate their understanding of the course material through assignments other than exams and research papers. The assignments, uh, the extra credit assignments, and their due dates are found on the course schedule. Um, so uh, use the extra credit drop box to turn in these extra credit assignments. I'll go ahead and address that here in just a little bit. So uh, moving down the syllabus, special services. Um, if you need any special services, if you have a disability, anything like that, uh, I do have the number for the Galveston College Counseling Center right here on the syllabus. Uh, be sure to contact them if you need extra, extra time for assignments or tests or whatever. A um, little course outline here. Uh, I wouldn't really follow that too deeply. We're going to go ahead and discuss the course schedule in more detail here in just a little bit. Um, attendance policy. Uh, just show up, do your lip, do, please. Um, do the uh, watch the lecture videos and do the discussion boards. Shouldn't have any problem with attendance being an online course. Um, important dates: uh, spring break uh, is March 16th through 20th, so there will be no classes that time. And on May 8th, all your projects and assignments are due. Academic integrity. Uh, this is very important for me being an online course. You guys could easily collaborate, but please uh, make sure that you res you respect the scholastic integrity. Um, so whenever you write, you know, we have a written assignment and requires excerpts from published materials, uh, please be sure to give full credit to the author to avoid plagiarism, and please uh, do not cheat on, cheat on tests or exams either. So um, if I do happen to find any, any violation of this classic integrity, I'll definitely be sure to contact the higher-ups about plagiarism. Um, I don't really like to mess around with plagiarism too much. It, hurt, it, hurts, you, it hurts you and it hurts you as a student. So uh, please, just be respectful of the academic integrity laws. Um, computer usage, don't really need to cover that, but if you need a computer, there's plenty, Galveston College provides plenty of computer resources. Um, and once again, students with disability. And then, then let's go ahead and talk about late work right here. Late work. Um, I do allow makeup exams. Um, however, your makeup exams will be essay format, not the multiple choice format like they're normally on. So, um, students can only only take makeup tests if the absence, uh, if you provide excuse of the absence, um, approved by contacting me earlier in the week or earlier on later, uh, earlier on before the test. Uh, together, we will work out an appropriate time for the makeup uh, based on your situation at hand. Um, any makeup test, though, are two to three essay questions. So please try to make it to your exam time. Uh, you have an entire week to complete the exam, so shouldn't have any problem with that. Um, so try to make it to your exam week, if possible. Bring documentation for the absence and a pen or pencil. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll, this is just about the e-learning site, so we'll go ahead and talk about uh, the course schedule now. Um, if you have any questions over the syllabus, please read over the syllabus and let me know if you have any questions at all. Uh, I tried to make it as clear cut as possible, however I understand I may not always be as clear as I think I am. So please do let me know if you have a problem with the uh, course syllabus. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. And we'll go ahead and talk about the uh, course schedule now. Um, 
course schedule. Zoom out of that just a little bit. All right. Uh, course schedule. So this is your course schedule throughout the semester. If you need to know what we're going to do on a specific week, consult your course schedule. Um, so this first week is January 19th. Uh, I always go ahead and use the date of the first Monday of the week. First Monday, we didn't have class uh, this this week, so um, even though it is week one, today is January 20th. So the lecture, what we're going to do today, we're just doing this introduction video, and then we're going to go ahead and do the basic approach to politics lecture here in just a little bit. So uh, any re the reading for the week is just the introduction to the book. Um, shouldn't be too much trouble. Um, and then, so under each week, you're going to see the lecture. You're going to see what we're going to talk about each each week. And then you're going to see the reading, um, what you guys should read for that week. And then every week I have an extra credit assignment. So there are um, 16 weeks. Some of these questions are worth, some of these extra credit assignments are worth two points. Some of them are worth one point. Um, you have about an opportunity for about 30 points of extra credit throughout the semester. And 30 points is, is quite generous. And the fact that each grade scale is 50 points each, uh, 30 points can definitely compel you from a B to an A to a C to a B to a D to a C. Um, God forbid you get to an F to a D. Um, but uh, go ahead and complete these extra credits each week on the course schedule. Um, so for this very first week, uh, for one point extra credit, you can go to this website here um, and take a screenshot of the last page um, to receive full credit. And what this basically is, is just a political ideology quiz. So if you want to find out if you're a liberal, a libertarian, a populist, or a conservative, whatever your ideology may be, um, I don't care one way or another. I just care that you guys have an opinion and an ideology. So go ahead and take this ideology quiz to find out exactly what you are. Take a screenshot of the last page, upload it to the extra credit Dropbox on Angel. And this is due uh, by the end of the week. So each week, these extra credits are due uh, the the Friday. I'll give them to you. On, I'll go ahead and open them up on mo on Monday, and I'll go ahead and close it on Friday. So you have a whole week to do these extra credit assignments, and I would definitely encourage you all to do them as they really add up for your grade. Uh, next, going down the schedule, next week we're going to be talking about American political thought and tradition. Uh, you can see the reading and then the extra credit. Uh, the Constitution, we'll, then, uh, con we'll discuss the Constitution in week three. Uh, week four, we're going to go ahead and discuss federalism. Um, moving down here, week five. Uh, week five will be your first test. Uh, remember, on the first test, you're going to have the entire week to take them. Uh, however, you have a two-hour time limit. Um, also, each test week, I'm going to go ahead and upload a review lecture as well. I have plenty of review slides, so you guys can be sure to watch that to just maybe refresh your memory before you go ahead and take the test. Um, moving down to topics, week six, uh, legislature. Week seven, we'll be discussing the president. Uh, week eight, we'll be going down to uh, campaigns and elections. Also on week eight, your first paper is due from the uh, course syllabus we already just talked about. Week eight will be your first paper that is due. Week eight, we'll also be discussing campaigns and elections. Uh, week nine, uh, we have spring break, no classes, so enjoy your break. Um, however, I would encourage you guys to uh, use this time to uh, review for any upcoming exams you may have and also work on your papers. Work ahead on, on paper two and use that week to do so. Uh, moving down to topics from spring break, we'll get back from spring break and then we'll go right into political parties uh, on week 10. Week 11 uh, will be your second test. Uh, pretty simple, simple enough. Uh, week, week 12, we'll get into Unit 3 finally. We'll be discussing the judiciary, uh, the, the courts uh, of the United States. And then we'll also be discussing in week 13, domestic and foreign policy. We'll wrap up the uh, semester on bureaucracy and civil liberties and civil rights. And then we will go ahead and take our test on May 4th. Uh, this doesn't quite uh, align with Galveston College's uh, finals week. Uh, but I'll go ahead and give you that entire week to take the test. And then you guys are free to study for any other finals. So um, I know that was kind of a quick rundown. Uh, but if you have any questions about the course, the course schedule, anything um, anything concerns you about the dates or anything like that, please let me know. Um, also on the course schedule up here at the top, I also have all my contact information as well. So um, I guess I should make one little note about the uh, course syllabus here. 
uh, I guess the uh, course schedule here. Um, please, if you guys are if you guys are willing to contact me through email, please use this email right here, lrapid at gc.edu. You'll have to you'll have to forgive me. My colleagues are in the office right now, so recording this lecture. Um, you may hear them there in the background, so no problem. Um, so that's basically the course schedule, course syllabus. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about. Um, about ANGEL and how to go ahead and navigate this. M like I said, most everything you're going to need uh, for this federal government course is right here on this lessons tab. Uh, we have the course syllabus and course schedule, which we just went through. Um, also right here, you're going to find the extra credit drop box. This is where you're going to drop all your extra credit assignments. So you go ahead and open the extra credit drop box. Um, you can go ahead and title your post if you want to. There's no, no, there's no need to. Um, but let's say you save something in the uh, in a document format or anything like that. Go ahead and use this attachments uh, this attachments uh, button right here, and then choose your file that you want to upload. So if you want to upload any of these files, if you want to upload um, anything from from your personal flash drive or from your personal computer, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll click on it. Let's say we upload one of my PowerPoint lectures, I guess, um, and then you just click finished and it'll upload automatically. So that's how you use the extra credit Dropbox. It's very simple. If you have any questions, though, please let me know. Um, I also created a help discussion board. Uh, being an online course, I can't necessarily address your issues uh, in person. So if you need any help, uh, just go ahead and make a post on the, on the help discussion board, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, any questions about you know assignments, due dates, um, where to submit your assignments, et cetera, Feel free to uh, to drop those questions right here on the help discussion board. So each week, each week is going to have a folder, and this is obviously week one. So here's the week one folder. Within the week one folder, you're going to find the slide that I'm that I'm lecturing on in the video. So if you want to follow along with the video, even though the, the slides are on the video, but if you want to go ahead and print them out, take notes yourself. Feel free to use the week one slides right here. Um, and then your, your weekly discussion board, which is a big part of your grade, uh, will be within the week one folder as well. And then soon here I should have the week one, week one lecture. So you, every week, uh, within the week within the weekly folder, you're going to find the discussion board, the slides, and uh, the video to watch. watch. Um, and then um, obviously on exam weeks, within that week folder, you'll, you'll find the test. So. Uh, pretty simple. We'll build on this each week. Obviously, out under, next week under here will be week one, uh, week two. Um, so it should be pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions about how to navigate Angel or anything like that, please let me know. Um, that should wrap up our introduction. Uh, any questions, just please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, forgive me if this, this video was just a little bit confusing. But we'll go ahead and make it through, um, and we'll be sure to help each other uh, as the semester goes on. I'm going to go ahead and record uh, the week one lecture now, and I'll upload that to Angel as soon as possible. Um, but like I said, looking forward to a good semester. My name is Lee Rathbun, um, and we'll try to get on, uh, try to uh, get on with the semester and learn together. So. <laughs> this is weird. I've never recorded myself. Oh, you know, I, I uh,